Okay, uh, behind the ridge here. Hadn't done a updated tour in a long time, probably over almost two years since I moved from the Toyota dealer down to an independent shop down in South Florida and added two. So I guess we will do an updated tour. Of course, I still have my two KR1000s that I've had for many, many, many years. And I have since added a KR7100, which is known as the Coca-Cola box because it looks like an old Coke machine with the door on the side. But that's my programming cart and then the cart I work under the vehicles with. I don't have my roll cart anymore to move tools around because everything I work on is pretty much right here in my area. So I don't have to roll from one end of the shop to the other like I did at Toyota. So we'll start over here with the hutches. Everything, everybody wants to know what's in what. So up top, got a couple of fans, my AC kit. Both of my computers run up here. Sound for one of my computers. Clock, and then across the top, got a buffer there. My bump box that I got from Matco. And miscellaneous storage over there that I keep a bunch of trailer wiring parts in. My big boy pry bar down the side there. And again, that's my programming cart. We'll get to that in a moment. We'll start over here in this hutch. All my battery chargers down here on the end. Everybody's got to have pins, miscellaneous. Yes, you see bug spray. Mosquitoes are atrocious down here, so I have to keep that going all the time. Safety glasses. Uh, the phone on the wall is my music player. It's Bluetooth to my bump box and run off the Wi-Fi. Some paperwork, so forth. My stream lights all right there some extra parts and all my coast lights all right there i love this coast headlamp that thing's been a lifesaver so and my next hutch is my big screen for my daily lookups and so forth for all my parts and everything like that and then on my next screen is the one that i use for my mitchell with all my diagrams so forth and everything like that i just got this light it's really cool um as you can see it's got multiple lights and then it flips it's magnetic and it charges wirelessly in its base some chemicals another one of my lights and some miscellaneous paperwork so forth in this hutch here on the 7100 i've got all my boxes that i've always had with fuses relays everything labeled so forth that's the dongle from my max 4. this is my altel um, mk808 and then this is my max 4 which i absolutely love that is my maximus 4.0 i traded in my 3.0 for that and this thing is awesome especially that has the built-in scope it has the built-in battery monitor and so forth this this thing has been night and day above the 3.0 that i had forever so it's actually in the middle of an update right now so in the side locker here on the hutch Big light, bunch of pry bars and extra long extensions. They fit really good in there. In the top, some miscellaneous parts, chemicals. That's my fuel injector system cleaner. This is my Snap-on MT2500, the brick from the 90s. Everybody remembers that. I still use that on occasion for old Mustangs and stuff and older cars that come in. This is my Matco TPMS tool. Behind that is a Snap-on Solus scanner. An older Solus, but it still works. Down here is my Matco Pro Assist, mm -hmm. which has been a lifesaver for remote programming, as well as obtaining help from Matco. Uh, they get you in touch with Master Text from every line, and they can take it over and look at everything on it. So, yep, this is the Pro Assist. Love this thing. It's been very helpful. My t big temperature probe in there on the left. And behind that, I think I got an older relay test box. So that's everything in that locker. And then the hutch up there behind the bump box is the box for my Max 4.0 that has all of my miscellaneous connectors and leads in case I need those. So that's the hutches. We'll go ahead and pull out the top drawer on the right box and the drawer next to it. This is all screwdrivers. So you see the screwdriver drawer there coming down all of my panel poppers scrapers etc and over here all of my picks probes torch drivers remember the craftsman professionals i love those things and then snap on long extra long with the cabinet handles and the really long tips those are those are great 
finish your top drawer there. Top drawer in the next box is my nut and bolt divider. Keep everything in there that I need. Kind of a go-to when you're missing something or you misplace something. Kind of OCD like that. Top drawer is paperwork and kind of junk, salt paper, everybody does that. At least I think they do. <laughs> Next drawer down on the right hand side is pliers. And then we'll go ahead and pull these because everything's kind of run together there. All right, so starting in the right box, channel locks, all my daily use pliers, needle nose, cutters, everything a little small, pin snips, wire pullers, wire extractor. I use those PVC cutters and actually cut wire with them when I have to cut big wire, panel poppers and so forth. This drawer here has ignition wrenches, all of my Allen keys, and so forth. And then the next drawer over has vice grips, some miscellaneous pliers, a wheel weight plier in there, old spark plug puller, boot plier, extra longs, and then these here, of course, the extra long Mac, I believe they are, um, needle nose and hose grippers, and my big snap on alignment pliers. And the second drawer across is a little bit of miscellaneous drawer o-rings. I keep a bunch of lighters because I use them for heat shrink instead of a torch. Torch has a tendency to melt them. There's a pair of wheel light pliers in there and then my UV light for AC die check is right there. That's those four. So we'll come back over and start on the right because the next drawer down is my wrench drawers. So we'll open all of these. I don't have the really, really wide drawers like the newer Epics and all do, so all of mine are kind of across this row. Metric ratcheting straight, metric ratcheting flex extra long, flex extra long, and a few miscellaneous ones in there. So my wrench is from, I think, 6 all the way up to 36. Some offsets here. Flare, snap-on angle, snap-on shorts, and then some stubbies and some metric stubby ratcheting. This drawer is SAE. These, of course, are ratcheting long, regular SAE wrenches, flares, the snap on shorts, ratcheting straight, stubby, and then some extra long snap on. Big AC wrench I used to work on, um, dryers and stuff on the older GMs some super thins and then the big offsets and then the final wrench drawer has ratcheting metric ratcheting flex head metric super thin and some specialty wrenches a e-wrench and a couple of brake bleeder style wrenches so that's the wrench drawer drop down below that one this is cut grind drawer drill bits extractors, macro drill bits and so forth, um, just some miscellaneous stuff, the uh, step bits, cookies, tools for that, the drill bit sharpener back there, some of my measuring tools back there, whole saw kit, and the drawer next to it is all the tools for that, my air drill, my sawzall, die grinder, and then all of the various wheels and cups and so forth that would go with that on that side next to that one over one drawer over here is some miscellaneous stuff these are all brushes engine brushes bore brushes and so forth this is all my cutting and flaring tubing bending hose cutoffs for pinching off lines and so forth my mighty vac my laser thermometer and then all of my clip tools for dash body panels old window crank handles so forth all in this drawer the drawer to its left zip ties measuring a couple of laser measures plumb bob i used to do um diagnostics at toyota for doing radar and so forth and ados and i still have most of the tools for that and just some zip ties so we'll drop down one this is my power tool drawer my long 3 8 short long quarter short 
my three inch gun, my quarter gun, and then a Dewalt gun and my Milwaukee screw gun in that drawer. To the right of that is my quarter inch drive drawer. This is all quarter inch drive, extra deeps, some torch heads, all extensions, some mini torques, all my ratchets, some miscellaneous sockets there. That's my short, mid, and long metrics and my short and long standards, extra, extra long torques, my e-torch universals, Allen universals, my metric universals, metric impact universals, metric deep universals, deep e-torques, mid-length torques, my magnetics that I really like, really, really like, some bits and so forth, my carburetor tuning tools in the back, which I do work on some classics here, so I still like having those. Some bits and so forth. These are the new Matco Universal Impact Torques and the Universal Impact Sockets. They're impact with a quarter shank and they work really, really, really good. To the right of that, punches and chisels. This is my flare nut socket set. And the new belt tool I just got, really like it. And some different glues and so forth. And that one, this is my, what I call a heavy drawer. <laughs> it's got a lot of pulling stuff in it, older stuff, C-clamps. My big boy rivet gun is back there. Piston ring compressor, more C-clamps, clutch lineup tools, some hacksaw, some big driving tools I use for driving pins and stuff. Anything else that you really got to hammer on, get something loose. Put that one shut and then now it's socket time. So we'll start over here on the left for all of my three eighths. I have it lined up all the way across both boxes. Pull all this out. Okay, so instead of having one big socket drawer, I have four drive drawers. This is all 3 8 Ratchets extensions, wobble extensions, the new Matco wobble spring load, some uh, extra ratchets in there. Then into the socket drawer for 3 8 The Allens in metric and standard. The Micros, torch rail back there. Snap-on deep universals, short universals. The e E's, those are 12 point mid length. Then you've got short, mid, and long or deep and snap on and then some miscellaneous stuff here in the tray more torques and wobble on the allen another set of 12 points universal impacts short impacts deep impacts this is sae short universals there some splines sae impacts and then my snap on shorts and super short impacts those are all saes there all of my spark plugs, sockets, and so forth. Allen's back there. And some torques, some old crows, for cheap crow's foot, but they work all in that drawer. The next drawer over is some miscellaneous half inch drive, my torque wrench, some big boy axle sockets from the old days, some Husky 12 point splines, some big Allen's are in here, some extensions, and just some miscellaneous stuff, oil pressure, and fitting and so forth. Then in the half inch drive drawer, you got a bunch of miscellaneous stuff up here in the front. Adapters, my splines are right there, and my triple squares. Chrome, metric, some more metric, some more chrome, standard, all the way to the back. So maxi sockets, torque angle meter, Deep universal half inch swivels, short universal half inch swivels. Some backup, some more big, big Allens, and ratchets, and my big Birkin. So that's the socket drawers and drive handle drawers. So we'll shut those. up down to the first big drawer over here. Uh, my three quarter sockets, my compression tester, axle nut 12 point, axle nut six point, 
those are all kits, cables and straps. And up under here, my lock ring pliers down there in the bottom, some grease, and my torch hoses. I'm doing small glazing and welding. That's in that one. And here, grease gun kit, my GM cam tool, power steering pullers and so forth. Adjustable wrenches, harmonic puller, Mac tool specialty socket set. And then in the very bottom drawer of this one, got my cooling system evac vacuum kit, inner tie rod tool, oil filter wrenches and so forth, and hammers, and a couple of pickle forks, and my 1234 and 134 oil injector die kit. That's in that bottom drawer. Whoops. Next big boy down, I've got combustion leak tester and my grinder. There's a jigsaw down there, miscellaneous chain, and then a bunch of just junk in this sliding tray here. Up under that, I believe, got my rivet gun. I've got two different rivet guns in here. So that's that drawer. Next door down is AC stuff. I have a lot of older AC stuff Bill used to started when R12 was still around. It's my flusher. Old pulleys or pullers for pulling off compressor clutches and so forth back when we used to do it that way. Holders. Just a bunch of old AC stuff. The very bottom bottom drawer has my pressure tester, another slide hammer, old school soldering iron, a couple more rivet guns, and a mighty vac under there as well. So that's both the 1000s. We'll move over to the 7100. Again, my scanner's up top. Top two drawers are just miscellaneous bolts and nuts. Everybody's got those drawers. It's easy to get in and out of those. Middle drawer's got some wiring and cabling, as well as a few other things, a couple test coils, so forth, gasket maker. First big drawer down is tape and keep some hog rings back there, assembly lubes, glues, thread locker, some TPMSs, a couple of homemade tools. That's for taking the ignition switch out of the Chevrolet columns. Double-sided tape, thread tape, hot glue gun. Next door down is electrical. Terminals, all the tools necessary for doing terminal work. Your pliers, so forth, cutters. Wire tape terminal, as we used to say at the dealer. Next drawer down is a diagnostic drawer. This is my snap-on meter and leads, probes, back probes, test lights. I have a lot of test lights. The new digital one, the snap-on handhead, the uh, cordless, older meter there, thread chasers. This is my Mac battery analyzer and my power probe that I've had for quite a while it works great next drawer down is a miscellaneous electrical drawer um, all of my picks and probes hemostats for pulling wire tweezers different items like that universal soldering tool to hold them together under here my label maker wiring solder heat shrink under the tray more of the hidden gem of wiring and so forth that in place. Next drawer down is more diagnostic and electrical. This is my power probe hook. If you've ever used one on heavier duty stuff, this one works great. Plus it's got a probe you can hang it under the hood and so forth. These are terminal files. If you've got nasty terminals, since we get a lot of corrosion down here with the salt, that's a terminal file kit. Relay jump out, another set of relay jumpers. These are all probes and pins or using with your meter, scope, etc. Several different styles of that. Power probe addition set, my amp pound, coiled lights, torch, my little uh, camera, snap on camera, in that drawer. Next drawer down is more of a diag drawer. My vacuum gauge here. These are, of course, um, release tools for fuel lines, etc., AC lines. Plugs and hose plugs, K 
cap plugs. I still work on classics. I have some distributor wrenches from the old days. Noid light set projectors, another release tool from AST. Another set of Noid lights, and this is my 20 foot remote USB camera for using with my tablet. These, of course, are the high pressure fuel pump Noid uh, plugs. When you're putting a high pressure fuel pump in and you've got to get it set to the flat spot, these drop down in the hole. They work great. Next drawer down is pullers and such. This is my master terminal kit, which for doing wiring terminals and repairing wiring terminal blocks, it works great. Up under that is another puller, harmonic puller and so forth. My snap-on slide hammer is there. Another multi-purpose bearing and puller set, harmonic puller. That's my master key set for wheel locks. My impact driver and up under that is just some bolts and another harmonic puller as well as a torsion bar tool for late model GM trucks. Next drawer down is air tools. Bunch of those, some cheap, some good. Air filler, my big Milwaukee impacts in there, my snap-on impact hammer, big ratchet and so forth. Some guns, cutoff tools. That's all in that drawer. Shut that one, then open the great big one. My snap-on ball joint tool, two disc brake um, caliper or return tools to push them back in. Uh, three quarters, some extra old sockets, old beam type torque wrench, the hose clamp pliers, two different sets of those, some pry bars, extra long screwdrivers, some miscellaneous stuff, the old belt holders and so forth. And that's everything in the bottom drawer. So that's the updated new tour. Refrigerators over there, of course, it's hot as blazes down here in the summer. So that is the updated tour from behind the wrench. Love talking with you guys here in the comments and so forth. Oh, and then my programming cart. Somebody asked me about that. So this is my J2534 along with my candy box. The laptop I use specifically for programming and my 2534 pass-through device. Actually, I actually have two of those. I have this one from Snap-on. And then I have my other one in the drawer here, which is the Matco. They're both made by Drew, so it's Drew Technologies. Uh, keep a battery charger down there when I'm programming so I can maintain battery voltage at all times, whether I'm remote programming or if I'm programming myself. And then my little car to move things around. And then my old catch-all uh, snap-on rolling around over there that's just got junk piled all over it. And my cart seat. And that's the uh, behind-the-wrench update for the Toolbox Tour. Thanks for watching.